Um, this is Alan Barr from Bioblast. Um, what we have here is a mid 50s Ferrari. Um, I've been contracted to remove all the top coatings, the paints, the under coatings. Um, but we've got several materials. We've got steel body uh, with some aluminum, aluminum hood, uh, aluminum trunk. So what we're doing is using soda for exploration. We'll come back uh, later and profile this steel to remove all sign of rust. So what we have here is an uh, aluminum hood. It's got a metal frame on the back. This is metal here. Um, it's sort of a happy medium between uh, what will do the job and uh, we want to use the least um, aggressive abrasive. Uh, the aluminum would not work well with the glass. It would warp and it would give it too rough of a profile. But as we do the body with the soda, we'll discover all the areas with the heavier rust, which we will blast with um, a, a, a grit of glass that we choose. To, and we'll see what works best. We've also got undercoating here uh, that all has to be removed. Every square inch of this car will have the coating removed. It's really quite a large project. As you can see in the engine compartment, this, this area here is aluminum, this is aluminum, this gets riveted down into metal. Obviously the Ferrari is a completely hand-built car, um, so there's definitely some different idiosyncrasies with them. Uh, we have, uh, you know, the value range of this car when completed is um, almost unmentionable, so this is not something um, to be taken lightly and we at Bioblast take our work very seriously. Um, we don't really have margin for error on something as valuable as this, but we feel comfortable um, taking on projects such as this. So uh, that's it. We'll do another update video and um, signing off. So here we are into the um, removal of the paint off the, the aluminum hood. And um, as we do discovery, we can see that there was once uh, some sort of piece of probably chrome trim that went right down the center of the hood. This is, I believe it's lead. This is actually a lead that fills. And if you can see this here, you can see the properties of the, the baking soda, which has this strange ability. When it hits, it explodes. It hits, hits the substrate and explodes out to the side, which you can kind of see from these particles, individual particles hitting here in a less concentrated area. And it literally, each one took its little path and exploded. Cut.